Hey everyone, welcome to this Adobe Dreamweaver and Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you about image linking or image mapping as it's sometimes known in Dreamweaver and I'm going to be showing you how to design some cool graphics in Photoshop to then import into Dreamweaver. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a new folder on the desktop. So right click new folder, call this whatever we want, we're going to call this website. Now we're going to go and we're going to open up Photoshop. Wait for Photoshop to load. Now it's loaded, we're going to create a new image. So file, new or control N. Create a width of about 900. This is for the banner, so the height can be about 150. Um, once you're happy with that, press OK. Now we want to create a background. We're going to create a light blue background, I think, or maybe a dark blue. I'm going to play around with a few colours, see how they look. Uh, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. Um, I think we're going to go for a lighter colour actually, so, uh, there we go, yep, that's what I want. <laughs> um, now we're going to add some text to our banner, so uh, uh, we're going to add um, uh, add whatever the website title is for your website, obviously we're going to make this a bit bigger, um, I'm going to call my website Ed's Johnson, so I'm going to type in Ed's Johnson, E-D-Z Johnson, um, and I want to align this in the centre, so I press Control A, <coughs> and the marching ants appear. Now go to the arrow tool, press align vertically centred and align horizontally centred, so it's aligned exactly in the centre of, of the whole image. Deselect it by select, pressing the select tool outside of the image, and we're going to add some effect to the text now. So double click on the layer, um, we're going to add a drop shadow. That's a pretty strong drop shadow, so we're going to make it a bit more subtle. Change the opacity or opacity down to 50, and the distance of about 2. There we go, that's a good, effective, subtle drop shadow. We're going to add a gradient overlay to it, so we can select, we can play around, see which ones look good. Perhaps a chromatic or a silver flow. Um, these are all custom made by me. Um, so, obviously, you'll have to create these yourself. But once you've picked one that you like the look of, Press OK, we can now add a bevel or emboss, we can change the style to pillow emboss, which kind of makes it look like it's inside the image. We can play around with all of these if we want to add them, out of bevel, uh, play around with them, see what they look like, in a bevel, emboss, stroke emboss, etc. But I am on this, not going to add one today. Um, and once you've added the, the styles that you want, press OK. So now we can alter the background a bit because it's a bit boring on its own, just the light blue. So gradient overlay, and we are going to play around until we find a gradient that we like, that which works well. So perhaps I'm going to go with chromatic. I'm going to change the angle to minus 90, so the lighter colour is at the top and the darker colour is at the bottom. Once you're happy, press OK. And now oh, we're going to shift the text layer up a bit using the arrow keys. And we're going to add a slogan below it, so obviously we're going to change the size to a bit smaller. Add whatever slogan you want, uh, off the top of my head, tutorials, uh, <coughs> tutorials, fun and games can be my slogan. Um, what a great, unique and individual slogan that is. <laughs> um, we can align in the centre, um, and we can add some effects to this as well. We're going to add a gradient overlay, uh, a dark grey to a black. We can add a drop shadow if we want, change the distance to zero and the opacity to about 50. That's a fairly subtle uh, way of making something stand out. Uh, well, once we're happy with that, we can add a new layer. We can perhaps add some brushes. So uh, we're going to add some kind of wavy brushes. If you don't like the look of them, obviously you can change them. We're going to change the colour of the brushes to hmm, maybe a light green or a blue or whatever you want and um, add the brushes. Simple as that. Uh, pray, place them wherever you want, and once you're happy with them, uh, we can add some more if we want. And once you're happy with this, you can obviously drag that below the text, so it's behind the text. So there we go, that is our banner. We can quickly save this, so press File, Save As. We're going to save it to the desktop in the website folder that we've just created. We're going to save this as whatever you want to call it. We're going to call it Banner, and we're going to save it as a PNG file. Press Save, press None to interlace. Press OK, and it's now saved. Now we are going to add a menu bar. So we want to create a menu bar. <coughs> we press 
File, New or Control N. The width is obviously the same, so 900. The height can be 40. Press OK. So we've now got our menu bar. We can add a background color, whatever background color we want. We're going to change this to a gradient overlay. Notice I'm going through this pretty quickly um, because this is obviously a Dreamweaver tutorial, not a Photoshop one. Uh, add a new layer. This can be our glass effect layer. So drag the select tool over half of it. Um, obviously fill this with a color white, which is FFF, FFF, as the, to the background, select that bit, deselect. Now on this layer, change the opacity or opacity, however you say it, to 10. So this has added a kind of cool glass effect to it. We can shift this around using the arrow keys. Now we're going to add the text over both of those layers. I'm going to change it a bit, make it a bit smaller so it fits in well. And we can call this whatever, we can type in whatever we want, home, and then three spaces or whatever. Uh, home, videos, three spaces, um, tutorials, really add whatever you want um, as your menu bar, um, about three spaces, perhaps a contact page, or contact. We can add more spacing to this if we want, so I'm going to add another two space bars, taps to each, uh, each item. Then we can align this in the centre again, so Control A in the centre vertically and horizontally, deselect it again, and now that we've got it we can perhaps Add a uh, add a text style again. So double click gradient overlay. We can add a subtle silver flow gradient overlay. Change the angle to minus ninety so the darker colours are at the bottom. We can add a subtle uh, a subtle outer glow perhaps by adding twenty five percent opacity. That looks looking nice. Once you're happy with your menu bar, obviously press File, Save As, save it as a PNG file again. Save it as whatever you want. We're going to call this Menu, and we're going to press Save. Um, and it will save in the same place as the banner. Obviously I realised I'm going pretty fast. Um, this is mainly a Dreamweaver tutorial, so that is why. Um, so now we're going to close Photoshop and we are going to open up Dreamweaver. So wait for Dreamweaver to load and then we want to create a new HTML document. Go to the Design tab and we are going to add our table now. You can do this one of two ways. You can go Insert, Control or you can press Control alt t we want two rows for this, uh, oh sorry, two rows, um, we want one column. We want the table width to be the same as our images which is obviously 900 and these three selected at zero. Don't worry about anything else here, then press OK. Now we've got our table. We can align this in centre by pressing to the left or the right of our width. Once we press to the left or the right, and selected the table, we go to the bottom and press align in the centre. So it's now aligned our table in the very centre of the page. Go to the first um, section of the table up here. Oh, we're going to go to the code first and add our margin as zero. So style space type equals text forward slash CSS. Body um, open with those funny brackets. Margin zero px, which stands for pixels. Close the brackets and press close style. This simply means there's no margin on the page, that small code. As you can see it's out at the very top. Now we're going to select our first section of the table and we're going to add our banner image to this. Now to do so we can um, either go insert image or press Control alt i and now we're going to go to our desktop, find the website folder where we saved our banner and press banner, obviously it will give us a preview and then press ok, don't worry about that, just press ok and press ok again. We've now got our banner inside the table in the first section. Now we can add our menu bar to the second section, so uh, make sure it's in the second section, and press Control alt i or, oh, sorry, Control oh, Control alt i or insert image, and this should pop up, press menu, press OK. We've now added our menu bar. Now we can save this, so file, save, save as, we can save it into the same folder as we've got our as the menu bar and the banner. Obviously we don't have to have an extension on it, we can just call it whatever we want and it will save the .html extension. Once it's saved, go into the website folder and open up the HTML document in your preferred internet browser. I'm going to open up in Firefox today, so we're going to wait for Firefox to load up, just ignore that. Um, and now we have our website appearing. Obviously though when we click the home link and anything like that, it doesn't link us to anywhere. Now we're going to add some links to the image itself. 
So click once on the image, so you've selected the image, and go to the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You'll see these three options. We want the rectangular hotspot tool, um, and we want to simply drag it over the place where we want the link. So obviously we've dragged it.